Uh, hello and welcome to our session, Siddharth. First of all, palm inspirations for getting 1515 SAT. Uh, I would like to have your introduction for our parents and students. Could you please provide? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Siddharth Sahu. I study in the 11th grade at NES International School, Mumbai. Uh, I was originally planning to give the SAT in October 2020, uh, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I ended up giving it in March 2020. Good, good, good. So how was your uh, preparation for uh, SAT? So what I started by doing was uh, giving a few practice tests uh, to identify what my weaknesses were so that I could start preparing. Um, what I figured out was that English was a challenge. And so I uh, joined the SAT English classes at Masterclass Pace. Uh, first thing I did was clarify all the uh, concepts for the writing and reading paper. And after that, I uh, practiced tests regularly on a weekly basis to make sure that I could identify all the errors and correct them. And I also did the same for maths, regular practice. Good, good. But, so, so that uh, it's a general query of most of the parents. They want to know when should one start preparing for SAT. And it's a dream of everyone to get uh, 1550 or above. So, what is uh, your suggestion according to you? When should one start preparing for uh, SAT to get this score? Uh, so I personally started preparing six months in advance, and I think that's more than enough. Um, so the important thing is to uh, tackle all the basics first, and after that, start to practice regularly so that one can go back and make sure uh, what mistakes are being made regularly. And using that, I was able to uh, address all my issues well before the exam and I got sufficient practice as well. Good, good. So did you follow any special strategy for your verbal part? Uh, so for my verbal part, uh, I think the main issue at first was that uh, I wasn't sure of what uh, mistakes I was making in general. And so in order to address that, of course I first attended the classes where you got notes on each grammar topic and we got many uh, tips on what errors people commonly make. So then after that, when I started practicing the reading and writing sections, I was able to identify those same mistakes. And after discussing with Hassan sir, I was able to rectify one and prove myself. Good, good, good. So it's again a query. How many hours per day or per week one should study to get this score 1550. So uh, you, you tell according to your experience, how many hours per day you are putting or per week you are putting, whichever way you want to answer. So my target was to complete at least one test, all the sections per week. Uh, so that would take, I think, around three hours at least. And after that, there was a regular revision of all the topics. So I think in total, uh, four hours per week or maybe five i think is more than enough if you do it regularly over a uh, several months and i think that's so consistency good. matters a lot basically yes exactly. Good, good. Hmm. Hmm. and what was the role of master class in your preparation um, as i said before uh, the main uh, help was of course we got lots of practice tests uh, we even got some we sat a uh, test. So these ensure that I was able to solve lots of different types of questions. And so instead of just trying to boost the score, I was also working on all the basics. We also got notes on those basic topics. And that way I was able to uh, address all the different types of uh, problems that I was facing beforehand. And Masterclass of course helped uh, very well in that aspect. Good, good. So, Siddharth, now uh, you are done with SAT. You'll be taking APs. Those APs also you are uh, preparing with us. So, 
whichever university you, you are going to join, what are your uh, career plans? Um, so, for now, uh, I haven't decided on a fixed career path, uh, but the majors I am planning to undertake include uh, physics and maths. I aim to enter the research or uh, the research area in either of these disciplines. And so I'm working on, of course, giving the AP exams to make sure that I am very strong in those uh, good, 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 good. All right. So, do you have any plan for uh, along with your career and everything that you are going to do? Uh, do you have any plan for any social work? Um, not really. I do not have major um, social work uh, aspirations, but of course, even as part of school, we do ensure that there is regular uh, community service. Uh, the aim is of course to uh, develop other skills as well. So for example, uh, we have uh, different advocacy programs. Uh, one project involved researching solutions to crop burning, which we were able to propose to certain startups. So I think um, I'm, uh, I would like to focus on those aspects that uh, I would be good at. So in terms of advocacy or research, where I can help identify solutions to help with social. Good, good, lovely. Mm. Good, good to know. So now uh, you are preparing for AP. So how many hours uh, per week you are dedicating for AP? Uh, for AP, so now most of the uh, studying part is complete. So now I'm mainly focusing on practice tests. So I think uh, for now I've kept the aim of giving two practice tests every week until the exam. I'm giving the digital test. So it's of course many MCQ questions. Good. Any other thing you would like to say about Mr. Hassan? I'm, I'm taking his feedback before you. <laughs> so yeah, I think Hassan sir is a really nice teacher. He's of course very funny, as you might have seen in this interview. Funny or witty? Um, <laughs> <laughs> <definitely. laughs> He's an English yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I get it. Um, Fine. All the classes are entertaining and of course, he's always there to help with any doubts and clarifying any questions we might have. So that really helped in the process. That's great. That's great. So anything you would like to know, uh, Hassan, from Siddharth? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So the final question that I will have, that <clears throat> what is your ultimate goal of life uh, when you achieve everything? What new you want to give to the world? What a big question. That's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> difficult question he's asking. Um, I think now that I think about it, um, I would like to contribute. Uh, so I think contributing as such uh, is not my uh, main ambition. I want to help the world by following the my interests, my passion, and uh, whatever career option I take. So for now, it's of course in terms of research in the field of physics and maths. And if I'm able to take that forward and, you know, make the next big discovery, I think uh, that is really my ambition to succeed good. in the field I have, change the world. So, good, good. So can, can, can we expect some theory from you like Newton's law or so some Siddharth's law? or something like that, or people are going to follow next in physics. If something happens, we'll be very happy. So Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> that's great. God bless. So God bless. It was for great you. interacting with you, Siddharth. Have a great time. Best of luck for next exams. Bye-bye. And best wishes. And best, best wishes. Thank you. And congratulations once again. Thank you.